Hey everyone, this is Frankie with Meekspace.com. Today I wanted to talk about method for Android devices. Now this method is uh, a way of downloading files from Box.net to your computer and then copy them, them to your Android device using your wireless connection uh, on your home network. So you'd have to have a wireless router set up, be able to connect your Android device to the wireless connection. And if you have that ability and that setup, then this method uh, is another way of getting files from Box.net onto your device. So we'll get started. Again, the, the pre preface here is you have to have a wireless network set up at your house or wherever you're doing this at, and be able to connect your device to that wireless network. And your computer that you're doing this on has to be connected to that same network, either wirelessly or plugged in. So let's get started with this method. So the first thing you want to do is on your Android device, you're going to want to visit the market. So here we've got uh, a Motorola Atrix uh, phone with Android. I'm going to go into the market and we want to do a search for a program um, called File Expert. So File Expert. And you'll notice. Um, it's going to have a little, uh, you know, star type thing on on the the uh, logo. It'll say File Expert. I've already got it installed, but you'll want it's free. You'll want to click on it and install it. Once that's done, you'll want to start your File Expert program. And this is kind of like a file manager or a file browser. You have all kinds of things you can browse with and browse to and stuff. But the method we're going to use today is sharing the connection from the device to your computer so you can put files on it. So at the bottom you'll have an option that says share. You want to choose enable web sharing and your device will come up and tell you uh, the address of your device. In my case right now my address is 192.168.0.18 colon 8080 and then it, you have a username of FE and a password of file expert with one e in it. So what you'll do is you'll you'll want to pull up your internet browser and go to 192.168.0.18 colon 8080. So I'm going to do that right now. So we'll go to our our browser, whatever browser you use. We'll pull up a new tab. You'll want to go to um, http colon backslash backslash 192.168.0.18 colon 8080. Now yours might not be the same as mine so you want to type whatever is on your screen there so like you know back to this device whatever the little network share box pops up you'll type in your uh, address that it's giving you in a browser like I've done here and then you'll just hit enter. What it's going to do is it's going to use your wireless connection and it's going to find your device. So this is my device which is my Android you know Atrix phone. So I'll open up File Explorer and it's going to browse your device's internal memory. I, I From right now all I can see that it does is it browses your built-in SD card. I haven't been able to see how I could get it to go to my external card. So in this case you're seeing your internal memory card on on the device. So what I've been doing is you would basically at this point you could make yourself a new folder. So you'd right click on the background and go to new folder and I'm just going to do a theocratic folder. Now we have a theocratic folder. And so we've got that. And so I'll open up the theocratic folder so it's uh, blank there. Now what we'll want to do is we'll want to get the files that we want to put on our device. So I'm going to go to uh, box.net. So you'll go to www.box.net. You'll log in with your username and password. 
you should already be a Box.net collaborator. If you're not, you'll need to visit Meekspace.com and, and find out how to do that. And then you'll go, once you are logged in, you'll go to your Theocratic folder. And you're going to want to find the files that you want. In this case, we want to do the Watchtower Library. We want to get that working on our device. So we'll go into iSilo. We'll go into Watchtower Library. We'll go into English, if you're English or some of the other languages there, if that's what you speak. You'll need all four of these files. So I'm going to download uh, this one. You'll notice if it can't give a preview, it'll say it's not supported. If the file's too big or if it doesn't recognize the format, you won't be able to preview the file. But you'll still be able to download it here or up here in the right corner. So just go ahead and click on Download and download the file. This process takes a little bit of time. So the connection to your PC like we had here, you could wait to make this connection until you've downloaded the files if you want to. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. But uh, I'm not sure how long this connection stays live before you have to refresh it. We'll find out. So back to our Box.net account where we're downloading the four files that we need. So there's our first file downloading. That's our biggest one. So we'll go back up to English and we'll go to our second file and we'll download it. So while we're waiting for these files to download, Again, you must have a wireless network set up at home, and you must be able to connect your wireless device, your phone or your tablet, your Android phone or tablet, to your wireless connection in order for this method to work. So we got two of those going, so let's go back to English and get the other uh, one of the other files. Now the reason we have to download four files the one file is the full version of the Watchtower for in iSilo format. The other one is the index. They both need each other because there's links inside each one that need each one. And then the other two files that we'll be downloading are actually Bibles. They're the New World Translation. But different brothers have used different file names to link to. And so you need both of them because you never know which brother, what file he's working with. So we'll go back now the third one's going we'll get our fourth file so once these files are downloaded then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our web PC suite tab that's what yours should be called when you make a connection to your device using that uh, file expert. Okay, so that's downloading. So we should be able to go back to our web PC device. Remember, we've made a, uh, we've typed in the address, we've gone to file expert, we've clicked on the file expert icon. When we did that, it brought us up all these, all of the folders that are on our internal memory of our device. We right clicked we made a new directory called theocratic so we'll open that up we want to right click again and we want to upload so we want to add files so we have to browse to wherever we downloaded our files at Windows 7 downloads them under uh, a downloads folder as you can see there they are so I want to highlight them all and I want to open them and I want to hit start upload so what that's going to do is wirelessly it's using my wireless connection here at home and it's going to copy those files over to my devices memory internal memory into that theocratic folder that I created and uh, once they're there then I'll be able to use iSilo to open up those files and read them so some of the uh, things to keep in mind you do have to have iSilo installed on your Android device. You can get that from going to Android Market, look up ISILO, 
iSilo and uh, you'll have to download, buy it and download it and install it on your device. Then you'll have to get the uh, file expert program that we just downloaded and uh, install it. And of course you have to have a wireless network set up at home. So you'll connect your device, your Android device, to your wireless network. Then you'll open up file expert and um, at the very bottom you'll click on share then you'll choose web sharing it'll give you the address of your device and the username and password you have to type in to get to your device that'll bring you to the window here that you see in the background with the file expert and the gallery icon you'll open up the file expert you'll create a theocratic folder open that up and then you'll right click and you'll uh, upload and you'll choose your files which brings you to this menu the screen that you see right now and then you'll click start upload and then that'll start uploading the files wirelessly to your device once that's done then all you do is you open up iSilo on your Android device and you'll have to browse from iSilo to the theocratic folder that we created here in order to uh, be able to see those or open them up and use them so really that's that's all there is to uh, copying the files over to uh, your device using file expert and um, it looks like this process is going to take quite a bit longer time to finish up so I'm not going to uh, wait for the uh, the bottom file down there at the bottom the, the big file to finish up I'm going to go ahead and uh, end our tutorial here, but this should uh, help you um, use File Expert to transfer files to your device.